I'm going to start with some light blue. I'm going to start with the ocean first. So you can pick any color um, of blues and greens. I would just suggest um, making sure that if you are intending to have a darker jellyfish, you go with a lighter version of the ocean. If you're gonna have a lighter jellyfish, go with a bit darker ocean. The, uh, the other thing to remember is that the ocean is lighter at the top where the sunlight is coming through and then darker as you move your way down um, where there's a little bit less sun and then um, lots of times it seems like it gets a little bit more green as you work your way down. Don't be afraid to leave some of these streaks in here, um, adds a little bit of texture. You can go back in and add a couple more streaks, um, add some darker, lighter colors. I think that's probably about good though. Um, this would also be the point in which you could paint the edges of your canvas if you wanted to. I'm going to leave mine white. but. Certainly you're welcome to. I'm going to do a purple jellyfish, so you're going to want to make sure that your ocean is at least kind of dry to the touch. It doesn't have to be perfect, but... So, the basic shape of a jellyfish is going to just be an upside down uh, bowl. And you're going to want the bottom a little bit rounded. That gives it the effect that it's... Um, you know, a circle going around the back. You can see my ocean is a little bit wet still and blending in, but I'm alright with that. Is it a little bit of a see-through feel? We'll come back and add a bit more layers to this. And then from there, we're going to add some stringers at the bottom. So.
The key to these uh, little strings at the bottom on the jellyfish is just to make sure that they're a bit random. So you don't want them all to be the same length, or the same color, the same width. Keep them a bit vari variable and throw some different colors in. And then it's good to make sure that you have a couple at least that cross. Um, you could also use your small round brush for some of these smaller strings. Um, that'll help you get some finer points. Now we're going to go back in and add a little bit more texture to the top of our jellyfish here. So you can really play with this part and what you want your jellyfish to look like. It might have stripes going down. Um, you might have some dots on here or some shapes.
have dots to something and you don't have dot tools, the end of your paintbrush can be a really useful tool. So I'm going to add some black dots to the bottom rim. If you add a final layer of paint over the edge of your, uh, your little threads going down, tentacles I suppose, it will help even them out and cut off that, that paint edge that you created earlier. Not like this one still has. Now there's just one more step. Um, we're gonna add some bubbles. I'm gonna go with a darker green and then probably some white to mix in, which I already have a little bit, but I think if it's dry. Nope, it's wet, we're good. And I'm gonna use my flat brush for this, um, at least to start. Uh, the small round brush will also probably be pretty useful for this. So if you can get green on one half of your brush and white kind of on the other, um, you can then just do a little circle, which should give you a pretty cool little bubble. And then once you've added your bubbles, you can go back in and add some highlights. So on the, the white ones, you can add some dark colors. Um, small round brush might be a little better for that.
All right, and then the last step, as always, is to sign it with your initials or your name. Make it yours, show that you're proud of it. And I hope you had a good time painting with me and enjoyed making this cute little jellyfish. <laughs>